Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the EKG of the day. My name is Reed, and if you enjoy this content, please subscribe, and I'll continue to post daily. So let's get started and take a look at this rhythm here. I want you to first notice that we're only looking at leads 2, 3, and AVF. And if you see, this is just one long rhythm of all of those. So this is not a 12 lead. This is just a rhythm strip. And so let's do what we always do. Let's just take a look at the rhythm here. We see it is rapid. It is an incredibly fast rhythm. It appears to be regular where all of my intervals between each beat are the same. And not only is it regular, but it is narrow. If I zoom in on this complex, my QRS is narrow. It is less than 120 milliseconds. And so we have a narrow tachycardia that is regular. So let's go ahead and think, well, what's our differential for this? We could have SVT, which would be like a AVRT or an AVNRT. We could have maybe a regularized AFib, where it's just very regular. We could have a flutter. We could have sinus tachy. Right, so just starting to think through, well, what are we dealing with here? We know it's narrow, so it's going to be coming from at least the AV node and uh, higher as it conducts through the ventricles in the normal Hisperkinji fashion. And so let's calculate the rate. That'll help us. And so the rate here, let's find a QRS that lands on a solid box. So maybe this QRS right here. And if you look at the QRS previously, it's just larger than five little boxes. It's about six little boxes. And so six little boxes or six millimeters is the R to R interval. And one way that I like to calculate my rate from the little boxes is if I do this calculation here, which is 1500 divided by my number of little boxes, which in this case is six. And so my rate is 250 beats per minute. And so if I go back to our initial differential diagnosis here, I could say that sinus tachycardia typically does not go at 250 beats per minute. We could still have AFib with an RVR. But a couple of things I want you to think through is that I know that a flutter, usually those flutter waves are 250 to 300 beats per minute. And so when I look at this QRS, I notice there's this little kind of uptick before and downtick after. And so if you notice, as I'm looking through before and after this QRS, I've kind of got these opposing forces before and after the QRS. And when you see that, I want you to think, I wonder if these are flutter waves that are superimposed on these narrow QRSs. And watch what happens if I do this in green. If I connect all of these, then we almost have some flutter waves, right? And if I go up here to lead one and show you, you can almost look through and see flutter wave, flutter wave, flutter wave, flutter wave, flutter wave. And we know that these flutter waves typically occur 300-ish beats per minute. And so, in this case, they're occurring at 250, but normal is 250 to 300. And so what we're seeing right here, in fact, is an atrial flutter. Right, I don't see any P waves, but I do see atrial activity. 
and they see now we have to define what is the conduction because for every flutter wave how many times is the AV node conducting that signal down and for every f one flutter wave for every one flutter wave we have one ventricular contraction so we have a atrial flutter with one to one conduction and so a couple things we could do for this person they're likely unstable so if they were unstable we could sync cardiovert and if they were stable then what we could do is we could give them some type of calcium channel blocker like IV deltaism and IV deltaism would slow the AV node down which could make this one to one conduction maybe two to one or three to one slow that rate down so that the the heart rate will decrease allowing for good ventricular filling and possibly less symptoms so I hope this EKG helps it's a good example of one to one atrial flutter try to train your mind to see flutter waves that are superimposed with QRS complexes in certain rates should make you think that that is what we're going to be dealing with. So I hope this helps. Have a great day.